Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys a special haul video. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So this video, I will be sharing something special with you guys. Haul, over the weekend, I was in Japan for short quick impromptu trip it was literally 48 hours that i was in osaka and because of the short time period i did not really do anything touristy or anything of the like but one thing that i did get to do was thoroughly check out japanese beauty cosmetics and skincare and Obviously, I was in the mecca of where you find all these things. I've been an avid fan of Japanese cosmetics and skincare, so it definitely top of my list. And I think I came out with a fairly good, just right amount of well-created products that I wanted to get my hands on. So this video, I will be sharing an overview of the products that I did get to haul. This is not at all, not at all a first impressions video although I've tried and I've been using some of these products already and currently the products that I am wearing I did try to incorporate much of these products on my skin right now especially when it comes to the complexion products I am just gonna run down the things to you and maybe go by category and in the next few days or maybe weeks let's see how busy we get but i will be doing a series called made in japan where i will be doing my first impressions or my full reviews on some of these products especially the more premium hard to find ones that everybody talks about so i'm gonna begin i'm gonna begin with skincare or a lot of the maybe you could say drugstore stuff that you can find in Japan that I've also come across when I was in Vancouver or because they're really hard to find things but they're very popular with Japanese locally. I think they come out with the best innovations and there is this particular brand that I always always replenish when I get the chance or the access to and I know a lot of people are familiar with this now and this is the brand called Hada Labo. This is how it looks you can see the brand right there. It says Hada Labo in English. This is how it looks. Look for this sign and I know it's Hada Labo. So the one that I've been using for years and I replenish is a Super Hyaluronic Acid Moist Essence X. This is how it looks. This is one of the first pure hyaluronic serums I ever used. And then I use this, I think this is a glycolic serum. And this is how it looks. There is nothing on English with a lot of these products, so before you go, you actually have to research quite a bit. There are a few people that write about this. And then I also got this toner, I believe, and this is how it looks. So it's just one of each of products that I've already tried before. And then I have also purchased, and this is new, I've come across this brand, Hadanomi. This is how it looks. They're very popular for their mist their facial mist in fact i'm gonna grab i'll show you guys and i actually have one which i purchased a few years back in vancouver and it's the collagen mist which they are so known for it's one of their best selling popular ones i think they're one of the first to release a collagen mist or at least the first one i've come across and when i was there the past weekend i came across a new mist that they came up with it's the first time i've come across it it's the aqua placenta mist moisture retention formula placenta extract three kinds of hyaluronic acid acerola extracts I didn't even know it, has, it had hyaluronic acid. This is how it looks. So I am definitely excited to try that out. I always usually purchase a facial mask and I do have quite a bit. So I only did grab one. And I think I've tried this before. It's from my beauty diary. It's a black pearl mask. But I just grabbed one again because it says number one cosme.net, which is like, I think this is a very popular Japanese like I don't know if it's a magazine or a website, but they usually have this beauty award. So anything that had a number one in it, I actually did grab and try to check out. And this one also has sodium hyaluronic, I believe, which is a scientific name or just another name for hyaluronic acid. She actually directed me to this brand. It's well. 
to this line. This is by Kanibo and this is called Dew Beauty. This is how it looks. Oh, so this one, she actually recommended Emulsion 1, I think, because I live in humid weather. But when I tried and I felt the texture of Emulsion 2, it is absolutely amazing. This is how it looks. And it comes with a pump. This one I use as a serum at night and it is absolutely beautiful. It, The texture, the consistency, and even the fragrance of it is very... I would liken it to a lot, a lot of my premium serums. This is something which I purchased there, but this is not Japanese at all. This is French. It's La Roche-Posay. It's the thermal water. So just, I got the big professional size. Japanese eye drops are known to be very potent and really very effective. So if you get tired eyes or you work in front of the computer quite a bit or you're, you get allergies and you get redness, they usually really, really are the most effective. They do sting quite a bit, but I was trying to find one which didn't so much. I don't have the original packaging, but I did grab quite a few. And unfortunately, this one is called Fresh. This one is by Roto. Roto is a very, very popular Japanese pharmaceutical brand from Japan. This one is called, this is Lychee Eye Drops Clear Shot. It's called Nano Eye and it's supposed to be less potent. They actually have variation, varying like a gradation system of how the strength of the formula. The last one that was recommended to me, it's called FX by Santi, Santen. This is how it looks. Now something they all have in common is unlike Western eye drops, they really do have a sting, but they truly, truly work. It just takes a while to get the stinging out and you know, a little patience just to keep your eyes closed. This is by Lucy Dole L. They're a very popular Japanese brand and they do multiple kinds of hair wax and it was so interesting. And this one also had one of those uh, voted number one by Cosme.net. So I just had to grab it. It smells amazing. This one is called, this one is Hair Wax Nuance. So it it had a photo of the different hairstyles. So every every each kind had a different color to it and it had a hairstyle coordinated to what the wax could actually do. And this one was a good in between. This is how it looks. It smells it smells like lychee and I think this one gives a medium kind of hold. It can still do separation, but it doesn't look too, too stiff. I think this was the look and that's something that I definitely wanted to try out. So I'm very excited to try this out. I think this one can give you like a wet look kind of separation without looking so stiff. came off with this too and one I have on right now absolutely gorgeous and this is by Etu Size. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly I did post about this on my Instagram because it looks so the red is the one I have on and then this is a beautiful almost just like a nude uh, because it's more of a yellow toned gold as you can see and it's not it's kind of like a pale yellow gold so now I'm gonna go to Shiseido so I grabbed a few things that I don't typically find anywhere else so I got a few of these Shiseido lashes. There's two pairs and it comes with an adhesive. And then they also sold lash adhesive separately. So I also got a couple of that and I'm gonna see how they work out. Um, these are, I got Shiseido eyebrow pencils, which I've only seen there and I actually have it on right now. I got them in dark brown and black. I, an eyeliner besides Dolly Wink and so she showed me this it's by Coffret Dior and I don't know if you guys can see that it's a waterproof liner but can I just tell you I also wish I got more and this one is in dark brown I'm sorry this one is in black I believe this is how it looks and then I got this true two lipsticks it's called Obey Collect Obe Couture. This is BE701. And with Japanese lipsticks or, or blushes, BE usually is beige and PK is pink. So you can tell right away this is how it looks. And this one is like has a shine to it. That's how it looks. This one is in PK102. This is PK102. So you can see the beige undertone and the pink undertone. Excel. And they specialize 
I'm pretty sure, in shimmer. This is how it looks. And this is one of the face shimmers. They actually had cream shadow shimmers, which looked amazing, but the two colors that I was interested in was obviously sold out. So I just decided to try the shiny powder, which I have on, and when they do shine, I am not kidding, they're talking, <clears throat> not a sheen, they're talking particles of glitter. I don't know if you guys can see it on my skin, but I definitely can see it in the mirror. It's very visible, especially even putting in the under eye, so I had to tap it or use a fan brush just to do it very slightly because if not, you really do see chunks of glitter. The next brand that I purchased quite a bit of is Kate by Kanibo. I'm gonna begin with one of my favorite finds and I actually have two of these. The other one I've already been using so it's in my vanity and this is the Powderless Liquid for Cover Foundation. This is how the packaging looks. I am a MAC NC30 and I usually, I, I would straddle, I guess, I have OC-C right now and this is OC-2. This is where you find their shade range and I usually find that I'm somewhere and the darker last two shades the fourth or the fifth shade and then because i did grab that last minute i grabbed the powder so it, it came and then it had the refill here and the the powder puff this can be used wet or dry it's the liquid touch powder foundation for cover this is the packaging very beautiful packaging and then there is a mirror. This is how it looks like. I got mine in the shade OC-C. I got a few of these palettes, sorry. It's their four palettes, and usually they're very neutral when it comes to eyes. They're, it's very, they have very minimal palettes with lots of colors. They usually stick to browns, but a lot of shimmer and glitter, as you can see from this one. It is all shimmer, no matte, except for the base. And their base is usually a Pan, which is something that I find odd. This is another one that I purchased. So this one is usually tan. I'm gonna show you how shimmer, what their shimmer looks like. This is how their shimmer looks like. It's not really a super shimmer, but there's a sheen, which is actually beautiful. You don't get big sparkles on the eyes, but just a shimmer. And then the last one that I got, I think there were six variations to this palette and they were all called um, brown. Brown Shade Ice, they are BR1 to BR6, and I think I got three, two, and six, yeah. Oh no, BR3, so I got three, two, and six. So this is BR3, which is more of a like, you have a bit of a mauve there, but still a lot of shimmer, the base is still tan. It's called the Black Feather Lash. This is how it looks. And it has beautiful packaging for a drugstore. It's a very fine wand. This is how it looks. It is not natural hair. It's like a silicone or plastic, but with very, very fine um, spikes. Hakuhodo. I got, and just by shape, it really caught my attention already. This is how it looks. I purchased this in Takashimaya in Osaka. Crease squirrel brush beautiful and I love a crease brush I think a good crease brush really just does the eye makeup and when I this already caught my attention the shape this is how it looks